so much like a lot of things in Microsoft, there are a couple of different ways to schedule a meeting using Microsoft Teams. And we're just going to talk about two of those ways today. So the first way is to go into your Microsoft Teams and go to your calendar tab. And then over on the right hand side, you're going to click on the new meeting and we're just going to call it test and add required attendees. We'll put Bonnie in here and today at four o'clock is fine and test again. And I am, if you go up to the top, you can see that there's a scheduling assistant and this view just allows you to see when that person um, has their calendar blocked out and they're busy. But the nice part is if you book the same type of meeting within Microsoft Outlook, so you're just going to open Outlook and go to your calendar. And if you go to new teams meeting, and again, um, we'll just call it test and we'll have Bonnie be required. And as you can see, it defaults the location to a Microsoft Teams meeting. And we're just going to put test in the description. And then if we click send and save changes and send update. So now when I go back into that meeting, up at the top in the menu bar, there's an option for tracking and I'm able to see if the person accepted, declined the meeting, or if they haven't replied yet. So that just comes in kind of handy, especially if you're trying to get a hold of someone who maybe travels a lot and might be kind of hard to get a hold of before the meeting actually happens. So the difference is if I book it within Teams, I don't have that tracking option available. So just wanted to point that out to you guys. Please stay tuned for more tips using Microsoft Teams. Thanks.